Hello, 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 everybody, and good morning, and welcome to Wow Wednesday. I am your host this morning, Nancy Matthews, one of the founders of Women's Prosperity Network, and it's a delight to be here with you this Wednesday morning, as with most Wednesday mornings, to bring you this midweek boost of motivation, education, and inspiration so that you're consistently moving forward with your life, with your business, with the fulfillment of your dreams, desires, and your purpose. And today I've got one of our members with us, MJ Charles, and we're gonna be talking about something people don't want to talk about, people don't want to think about, and that is how to survive the business of dying. And I'll bring MJ on in just a few minutes. Uh, before we do, let me share a couple of very important Women's Prosperity Network announcements. Uh, and the first is we have a once in a lifetime opportunity for you. And that is the opportunity to have a lifetime membership with Women's Prosperity Network. We do not open this up often uh, and there are a few spots left. So simply go to womensprosperitynetwork.com forward slash lifetime. Now, what does that mean? That means for life, you get the opportunity to um, be a member of Women's Prosperity Network, attend three events per month at no additional cost. You never pay membership fees again to be a part of our community. And there's oodles of bonuses that we have baked into uh, what's in store for you when you say yes to becoming a lifetime member. So this is this special is going to go away as of Monday. So be sure to take advantage of it quickly. And when you do it real quick, there's an extra super de duper bonus in there. So go ahead and check it out at womensprosperitynetwork.com forward slash lifetime. We also have in uh, October coming up in about six weeks, our two day sales and marketing boot camp. So you're going to want to check that out. And in fact, when you become a lifetime member, we're giving you a ticket to that. So there's all kinds of goodies in store for you. And our community is filled with extraordinary women professionals who are here to use their experiences as well as their expertise to support you in creating a better life in all facets. And that's what MJ is here for us today to share about so that we can have a better life. So good morning, MJ. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Nancy. Thank you for having me on Wow Wednesday. I'm yeah. I'm so excited to be here. We love having you here, and I'm very, very excited to have you with us today. And uh, today we're going to be talking about, as I mentioned, something that we don't like to talk about, which is about surviving the business of dying. And let me tell you a little bit about MJ, and then we'll dive into how this came about for her, as well as some things you'll want to take a look at now so that it's easier for you in those tough times that, that will face all of us, actually. Uh, so MJ Charles is the Last Wishes facilitator. She's an award-winning author and creator of the Gathering Your Wishes program, which she developed after the sudden death of her husband. MJ discovered that she, like so many people, were ill-prepared for the loss of a loved one and trying to handle all those details while also managing loss and grief were unbearable. Dedicated since then to ensuring no one would have to suffer as she had uh, in this process, she published the book, Surviving the Business of Dying, which was awarded finalist in the 2019 International Book Fest. Her purpose is to assist you in the task of assembling your last wishes, which makes it better for all the loved ones you leave behind. And it also, you know, has your wishes carried out when you're gone. Isn't that a nice thing? So welcome, MJ. Thank you, Nancy. So this all started, um, I didn't know I was writing a book at the time. I was so overwhelmed with the paperwork that comes with somebody dying, uh, whether it's expected uh, or not, in my case, I thought it was going to happen, but nobody knows when the final is final. Um, I It was a tsunami, both mm. of emotion and emotions of all kind, because half of it, in retrospect, could have been avoided if something was written down. Um, this was the will, there was no will, period. 
So you have no directions whatsoever. There were no co-signing of anything. So uh, everything is frozen. Any asset oh, wow. somebody might have goes into what they call the, uh, eventually you set up a probate through the state and um, it goes as a, uh, an estate asset. Well, hold, hold on, hold on one second. So your husband suddenly passes away. And at the time, there was no will, no joint accounts, no power of attorney, no health care surrogate, like that. These are things that will make all of that easier. So so I'm just curious, here you are needing to plan for a funeral, and the bank accounts frozen. Like, how do you pay for it, right? <laughs> well, uh, with before we get to that, it all okay. I, have, <laughs> I I learned a great phrase, and everybody can just put this in their pocket and use it any day when you need it. When people come at you, and I mean they're they're coming at you. Well, where's this and where's that? Forget politeness. Forget tone of voice. You're being bombarded. I switched from I don't know, because I got tired of saying that. Yeah. You, you know what? I'll get back to you. And you just stare at them and don't say another word. It's like a sales routine. Just shut up. And uh, I said, I will get back to you. And they go back under their rock. And all mm. that does is allow you a long moment to get your brain back in your body ratchet down and calm down. They might not come back for three days, which is fine, but you now have evolved the evolution. That is, <laughs> yeah, it, it's that a is a powerful tip because say when people are asking, well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That feels disempowering where you say, I'll get back to you yep. is empowering. You're claiming your, your power in that moment. I love that tip. Use it all the time. Don't say, I don't know anymore. That's it. Like, that's don't a great, don't know. That is know really good. Know. I'll get it back. It doesn't to matter. You. I'll get back to you. Yeah. That's right. And that was handed to me. The husband of a dear friend called me like day two. Day one is the day my husband died. And this man called me. He knew me from just visiting. But I thought it was such a gift. He said, mm. Mary Jane, uh, this is your moment and um, basically seize it. And I said, thank you. He said, no. And he got very stern. And he just said, you cannot make a mistake. Whatever you want to do, do it. No one is going to question you. And I'll tell you, it was like a weight lifted off my shoulders. And um, so it started one day. We were in route to a business uh appointment I told my husband you cannot drive because he hadn't been sleeping well and I knew he was weak I had asked him many many times can I get a medical directive no I'm not signing that thing so I was like at my wit's end we go to this meeting I pull in the parking lot I look next to me to say we're here because I thought maybe he was napping he had died in the car seat next to me so in the next hour I was in the ER and a doctor came out and said, do you have his papers, meaning his medical directive? Mm -hmm. I didn't. But what I did have was earlier that morning, I sat with him. I had my phone and I had the Washington State medical directive. And I don't know, Providence or something, I put the two together. I said, may I tape you while I read this? And you shake your head or nod. And uh, he said, okay. I almost fell off my chair. I took 15 minutes, but I got it. So fast forward to the ER, and I have this ER doc in front of me asking me for the medical directive. I said, doctor, I don't have it, but I have this. And I picked up my phone, and I showed it to him, and he was blown away. He asked right, um He'd never seen anything like this. And he borrowed it to, I'm sure, call the powers that be and see if it would be legit. It was. And any extraordinary uh, medical attention was then ceased. And it could have gone down a huge rabbit hole, but it didn't because mm -hmm. I had the patient was recorded it live. And, and the doctor left it because he could assess his patient at the same time. So that's how that went down.
So if you do nothing else today, please fill out a medical form. You can get it online for your state. If you moved recently, still do the state you're in. They vary just enough. You want to be sure you've got the right one for wherever you live. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not intended to be private. Put it in a freezer bag and attach it to your refrigerator. Put it in your glove compartment, your night table. You need it in the moment. Nobody can go search. Leave it in obvious places. So mm -hmm. that's the medical directive. Um, from there on, it was a blur. I think the car drove itself home. My son was with me. He was 28, so he was very able. And that brings me to one of the main suggestions I make in my book. Um, name or find a first lieutenant. This is not the executor. It's not your doctor, obviously. Your first lieutenant is the person who's going to make all the errands. And there's like a thousand of them. So you, you, you will need that because you have to go hither and yon for all the things you will need. Right. And your brain doesn't work well when you're in the middle of stress and grief and all of that. Yeah, you can't think. So the purpose yeah. of my book, the, create, the workbook, is to write these things that seem incidental and trite in part, but they're absolutely part and parcel to having a smooth transition. And you have the first lieutenant, he knows he or she, knows all the players, but they've got no skin in the game. They skip a huge abyss of emotion, but they can carry out orders, and your orders are in this book. It's a misnomer to say you're gathering your wishes. What you're doing is creating the details that you need to give your family so they have peace of mind that they're carrying out your wishes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the detailed instructions. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because I, I, as I'm listening to you talking about carrying out your, you know, that you're to make it easy for your family to carry out your last wishes. One of the things that pops in my head is, you know, kind of this flippant statement. Well, I'm dead. What do I care? Well, I care about the people who want to honor me. Like, let's That's remember right. that. Yes, we'll be passed on and whatever your beliefs are around that. <laughs> and we want it to be easy for the people that we love who want to honor us. Let them know what our wishes are so that there's no questions and no discord among family members. That's a whole nother piece of the puzzle, All right? Sucks. That's right. Yeah. And um, that can bubble up. If you put a stamp in the middle of the room, that's going to be an argument. That's my stamp. No, it's already like it's your stamp. You know, I mean, the insanity that goes on in times of strife and you see it in wars. That's why there are wars. Somebody loses yeah. their mind and the rest is history, literally. Um, so this isn't about you. It's about your family. You are leaving the best gift ever. And that yeah. is instructions. It's like a map. What did he want to what did he want to wear? I have a story there, but for another time. Um, who are we going to call for this? I happened to be well plugged in in my old parish, and I could line up a funeral. The word went out, and one lady took over the flowers, another got the songs, another was the reception lady. I mean, it was magic. So I could take that off my slate of many. Mm -hmm. And um, you, what songs do you want? We, you know, you like. I, you I had my songs picked out, actually. I know. <laughs> All for a string, Springsteen, right? Man. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so look, it's not a, um, it's not dour, it's not macabre. It is simply a platform that you fill in the questions. It's all yours. It's the mm. size of a coloring book. And do it in pencil because you can go back and visit it. And oh, what Change was your mind. Thinking? And, and so it, it's not a test and you can't do anything wrong. It is simply one simple place that your first lieutenant will know the existence of this book. It's not intended to be a composite of your family. These are your details. Uh, that was another thing. I vaguely knew where he banked. I didn't know what branch. I had no co-signing privileges. 
I had to prove who I was, which meant waiting for an affidavit from the state of Washington probate court with my name as personal representative. I'd go to three banks. Nobody knew what to do. I went to one itty bitty branch and the woman explained my plight. I said, well, I have a debit card to it. I'm not a co-signer, but I have a debit card. She said, that's tantamount to a co-signer. And boom, she gave me the balance and closed the account. The oh, balance was lucky. did not go in my account. It went directly into the estate asset account. So you got to follow it because you are now responsible for the entire estate without any overseer, except for the state. And they're going to hold your toes to the fire. And um, beware of the professionals who are always so nice and so sorry for your loss. I thought there was one banker, if he touched the small of my back one more time, I was going to flip him. It, it, oh, wow. I, uh, oh, Mary Jane, I'm so sorry. I'm like, go away. I had to explain to him. He said, well, you can invest your share. And I did a double take. I said, my share, the estate is not yet settled. I have no idea what my share will be. And he kind of went back under his rock, but that was a shot over the bow. As soon as the estate closed my share, I took it right out of that bank. He, he was upset. He said, what did I say? And we revisited that moment. <clears throat> I said, that was not cool. It was not kosher. He did not. <laughs> we parted ways. Excuse me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So you have to be on your toes. Um, because be kind of some, might, some yeah. people might perceive you in a vulnerable state and want to take advantage of that. That's right. And they which might is where have, that, Which yeah. is where that first lieutenant really can come into play as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. They'd be like, oh. Now, do you... Um, do you recommend that, you know, obviously I would think that this is a conversation you have, you know, in advance with the person saying, hey, I'm counting on you to do these things, just like when you pick a healthcare surrogate, right? That's, that's it. I mean, there is no rush. In some instances, you might know of someone who needs to do this. And in, in that case, they might be reluctant, they're frightened, they think once the book is completed, they're going to die. That's not so, it's all in case of, and we all need this in case we slip on a banana peel and hit our head and just can't speak for ourselves for a few days yeah. or a few weeks. You don't have to have a dire situation. So if you know of somebody who is on the brink, you can gently, non-confrontationally introduce this book and say, so, you know, what do you think about, and there's a plethora from topics in the book to pick from as an entree into the conversation. And that's what it is. It's a conversation. And once they relax and realize this is necessary, ask them about their trophies that they've kept for years. Mm. And, and you learn all the stories behind those trophies. So there are beautiful things that can come from the conversation. But meanwhile, you gotta get the details in the book. Who's gonna mm -hmm. take care of the dog, you know, uh, before they forget they have a dog, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, the the uh, other thing is simply, these are the things I bumped to, like, into the first afternoon. List the top five people you want called in your phone. It goes under ice in case of emergency because your brain turns to soup. So you need to be able to ping the phone to ice and you see all these familiar faces or names and their phone numbers. You don't have to think, just push the magic button. The other thing is this is what EMTs will use and will look for in your phone if they're the only ones on the scene. Mm. So that's another thing you can do today. The medical directive, the, the um, names on the phone. Think about it first, Lieutenant. You know who you hold dearest. And if you don't, play a few rounds of gin rummy. Card games always are very telling of somebody's character. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is interesting. <laughs> Tell me more about this. So here, here's her tip. In order to pick a good first lieutenant, play some gin rummy first. Give us, give us the logic on that one. Uh, growing up, my father and grandfather would listen to the Friday night fights and they would play gin rummy. And I was allowed to attend, uh, but I couldn't talk. So I didn't stay long because I would have blown up. <laughs> but mm. uh, I learned card etiquette. And people who don't know how to play cards properly, um, it cast Paul. It's like card tricks or cheating at golf. That doesn't matter. That's just six inches. Yeah, you don't want to put a person like that in control of anything. Mm -hmm. Smile at them, love them dearly, but you know that about them, and they just rule themselves out, kind of like that banker. You know? Yeah, rule yeah. themselves out. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit, and and this is one of the things that was eye opening for me when you and I were first preparing for for your appearance today, having a appointing somebody to be a social media administrator. Like that's a whole brand new ball of wax that I hadn't even thought about. That's right. Um, this came to me because um, there were two uh, social media accounts. I'm like, now what do I do with these? Mm -hmm. And this is only seven years ago. It was a black highway. I, I had no expertise. And so I am now know Facebook and LinkedIn have what they call legacy um, provisions. And they're, of course, they're each different or different enough that you can't just do one blanket. It appears, goes to all. So all the different platforms you may be on, think about do you want to be there in, in, in perpetuity or put your picture up and just say so it's does, great. Well, this, this, so like on LinkedIn, for example, when you say they have a legacy provision, is it like I need to go in and designate it as a setting I have to do or somebody goes in after I pass? Uh, someone goes in after you pass. Okay. Um, I, I believe uh, with LinkedIn, I haven't explored that. Um, you can set it up or leave the directions in the book that you have perused it and this is how you want it done because you're still up and running but you mm -hmm. need to address it. And there is a section in the workbook for this precise exercise. So the book has lots of ordinary things that we've all heard about. Uh, the social media is something we don't think about and it's real and it's there. Um, you know, you can still be hijacked after you're gone, which seems absurd, but you don't want anyone to steal your identity. Mm -hmm. And that goes for all your credit cards. Uh, you're going to have to you have to make note of all your accounts, their numbers, and the number to call uh, with for each card. Uh, you can't just call Citicorp. You have to have each card enumerated. And um, it takes is all of that in the book. It is. All right. So let's. Um, there's. Obviously, I'm sitting here. I'm like, okay, I don't have that yet. I don't have that. <laughs> like, I need to get this stuff done. <laughs> Just because you do never know. And with a little bit of preparation, it can make you know, the lives of our family members as well as ourselves so much better. And that first piece about a medical directive, that is really, really key. I, I mean, I know someone... Um, whose mom had an incident, did not have a medical directive. And in essence, this woman's been kept alive for four or five years on a machine without. So what do you really want? I think it's important for us to, to make those decisions and then have that trusted person as the healthcare surrogate or for, and first lieutenant. Yeah, the first lieutenant. So it has to be somebody who is reliable. Uh, who is trustworthy, but also uh, on the smart side to know enough, just use the book, don't interpret. This is what the book eliminates. People will ask, well, I spoke with her and she said, no, all bets off, we're going by this book. And there are, very, there are a lot of places to date and sign and it's all you, it should be written in your hand so mm -hmm. that people know this is mom speaking or this is my auntie talking. Uh, they'll know by the way you write, 
how you speak is how you write. Yep. And, um, and so there are no misunderstandings. That's the whole point of the book. Remove the anticipation and the frustration and, and guesswork. They're your wishes and you want them carried out. Presumably, you spent money on an attorney for a, a, uh, a will. But this is the work. I mean, an executor would do this, but they're going to bill you. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing. If you can, with your first lieutenant, leave them a present for all the stuff. They're going to be Oh, that's time. beautiful. Leave them something good. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh. So, um, and a caregiver for your animals, we love them dearly. Mm -hmm. And but not the least of which we're going to miss you. So you got to provide for the, and not a lot of people like cats. So I've got Tim the Tomcat, and I'm like, who's going to love you, kid? <laughs> you <know? laughs> and, and you really, you know, might be a neighbor. Neighbors are wonderful people. They serve many posts in mm -hmm. life, you know. Um, this is the light side. I go into other things in the book. And so the beauty of the book, again, you can pick and choose what section to work on at any given time. And and some take deep thought. Some are like, oh, huh, I never knew that. And mm -hmm. I, you ponder it. If someone is a veteran, this is the chance to get all those details. Where are the discharge papers? Do they want to um, be buried in a VA cemetery? Um, are, what are medals to they with all that it, there's a spot for all that information there and and get the number for whoever you call regarding the most uh, the closest VA memorial yeah. uh, so a, well so there's a lot of different pieces of the puzzle <laughs> so let me Slowly. mention a couple of, yeah uh, and it's important. So for, I want to acknowledge everybody who, who's here today listening live or listening to the replay, whether you're on Facebook or, or here with us on the Zoom. And I really want to honor you for tuning in to this very important conversation. And then now we need to take some action steps. And I love, I, was, I looked on Facebook and Betsy Miller said, thank you for the ice tip. I had my husband listed as ice and I have one of my sisters listed as ice. But adding more names to it, that is really, really important. So people know who are the most to call. I mean, I've got probably a thousand contacts in my phone. But <laughs> that would be a lot for someone to figure out, right? And who um, you really want called. Exactly. Such a good tip. And, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Yes. So Mary, Mary Jane, I know that you are committed to supporting people and moving you know, through this process now so that it's better for them as well as their loved ones. And you've got a workshop coming up. Can you tell us about the workshop? I do. I have um, designed an introductory class to the workbook. I have two classes monthly. In September, there is one tomorrow and one on the 22nd. Um, it's an hour and 15 minutes and it's an overview uh, to show you how to use the book and I tried to put in as much as I knew, and I compiled different other books into mine. Um, but everybody has their own family, traditions, religions, etc. And I'll show you the pages where you can simply add whatever it is you want done, your tradition or the food you want served at the mm. reception, and who's going to do the flowers. But also where and how you want to be buried, etc. Um, these are all in there. And um, so my class gives you the overview in addition to what I've just said um, and how to start the conversation with a loved one. They might welcome it. They're afraid to bring it up because they don't want to burden you. It's not a burden. It's like going out for milk and bread. It needs to be done. Uh, and and so um, I have classes coming up tomorrow. And Nancy has um, the link, I believe. Yep, I put the link in the chat. Uh, and you can go to, for those who are here on the phone, grab your pen. And you can go to bit.ly forward slash class MJ. And that's all lowercase. So C-L-A-S-S-M-J. 
for Mary Jane. Uh, so go to bit.ly forward slash class MJ. And when they sign up for the class, do they get the workbook also? Yes, you do. You get a free work digital workbook. Ah. Um, and for the class, I would ask that you print it out <laughs> because we're going to go through page by page um, as much and as get you this can. And get it done. Like. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. This is something that I, I know I've put off and it's time to just get it done. Right. That's what it's all about here. Really good. So go to bit.ly forward slash class MJ. Um, let's go ahead and we're at the halfway mark. So I'd like to go ahead and uh, allow people to come on, ask some questions. Uh, so if you have a question or a comment to share, just go ahead and hit star six on your phone or raise your hand. We'd love to hear from you. And I am making all the magic happen here. So give me just a moment. Um, and we'll go from there. So, uh, Dr. Roz, nice to have you with us today. Your line is open. Can you hear me? Now I can. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Mary Jane. Um, you are such a delight. Um, oh, thank you. Good. Unfortunately, August was filled with a lot of uh, uh, of deaths that I haven't been with y'all. But we uh, missed you. I missed y'all. But what more than to come to this to have this like spinach for pie pie? That even uh -huh. though our hearts are sad, that we continue to share this with friends and family so that the unexpected won't catch you off guard for being prepared the right way because without not being prepared the right way, it does still add trauma and chaos to your mental healing of being revived and restored while you go through a season of gaining peace, comfort, and having wonderful memories. So I just wanna say, I love you. And thank you so much, Mary Jane. I'm so proud of how you have championed this out of your unexpected and turning it back to give to the world that it's their choice to be prepared. I love you. Have a great thank day. Thank you, Dr. Ross. Beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Ross. You are loved, appreciated, cherished, valued, and most celebrated. I know I didn't get it exactly right, but I love you. <laughs> you are loved, appreciated, celebrated, valued, and most cherished. Oh, I confused. I swapped <laughs> celebrated and cherished. Okay. <laughs> I, was so close. I love y'all. Have a God amazing Wow Wednesday. Thank you, my dear. Bye, Thank Rose. you so much. Beautiful. Um, all right. Let's go to our next caller, area code 301-247. Your line is open. Good morning, Nancy. It's Peg Duchesne. Hi, MJ. Good hey, morning. Am, good morning. I'm so proud of you, of all that you've done and all that you're pouring into this community. And, you know, I had an incident with a social media account where the um, executor didn't even know the passwords to get in. So you bring up so many critical issues that we all need to be thinking about. Like you said, we don't know where that banana peel is in our lives, where we're going to fall and hit our heads or do whatever that may not knock us out of life entirely, but may knock us out for a week, a month, whatever. And we need to get these things in order. So I can't wait for your workshop. I'm so excited and so proud of you for bringing this to all of us. Thank and you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And like Roz said, turning your incident with your husband lying next to you you thought he was napping and there he was deceased into this beautiful gift to humanity you are just mm. an amazing person i thank adore and honor you I'm so glad i can call you a dear friend oh. mm. <laughs> that was beautiful you, and peg. oh so true oh so true thank you peg for being with us and for sharing and uh sharing your beautiful words and th this is important and it's, it's time for us all to be in action. And I don't know about you, but can you think of anyone more, uh, not only loving and kind like MJ, but also funny. I love how you were right, really right. funny. <laughs> right. No one, no one better. That's for sure. 
Well, have a wow Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And if you are not yet a lifetime member of WPN, what are you waiting for, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you again, Nancy, for letting me unmute and um, talk to you later, MJ. Okay, Peg. Thank you. Bye. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. And for those here on the phone, remember to go to bit.ly forward slash class MJ. So C-L-A-S-S-M-J for Mary Jane, all lowercase, all one word. (laughs) And you can get the workbook, get started on this. Uh, How much is it? We didn't talk about that. Uh, The class is $27. And includes the book. Yes. And includes the workbook. All right. So get it done. $27 $27 for peace of mind. Come on. And it's peace of mind for not just you, but even more so for the people that you love. Because who wants to leave behind more stress when they're grieving our losses, right? And, and dealing with all of that, we can make it easier. So grab it for $27. Uh, the workshop is either September 1st or September 22nd. Jump on in. Uh, and get this, get this done, get it done. Um, let's open up for our next caller, uh, which is uh, area code 404-644. Good morning, your line is open. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Nancy and Mary Jane. This is Angela Nelson. Hi, Angela, Hi. good morning. Hi, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You've been on my mind, and I saw an email, and I I was kind of stressing because I couldn't find it again, and I was speaking with my husband last night saying, we need to plan, we need to prepare, because just recently um, my father-in-law passed, and he was on the couch taking a nap and didn't wake up. And my mother-in-law has no idea what to do or anything. And we are on the other side of the country trying to help her. Wow. And wow. there was no will and nothing in place. And, you know, she was actually speaking with a friend of hers. They were sitting there having lunch. And after lunch, he laid on the couch and she looked at him and she was like, oh, my gosh. And, yeah, so you never, never know. And it's important to have these. And, again, like everybody else has said, like Dr. Roz and uh Um, Peg Duchesne said, thank you for sharing from your own personal experience because it happens more often than we realize. Yes. And it's so important. And I'm so grateful that you're on here today because, like I said, I panicked. I couldn't find the email. And here you are. And I am registering for tomorrow's class. Oh, thank you. Yeah. (laughs) It'll be worthwhile. We'll be fine. (laughs) Yes. So really thank good. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, send, sending you lots of love, Angela, to you and your husband and, and the family. And, um, you know, we don't like getting these wake up calls, but whoever's listening in today, let this be the wake up call instead of having to deal with, you know, the difficulty and all of that. So, um, Angela, lots yeah. of love coming your way. Thank you. Yeah, you're most welcome. And I love you guys, too. Thank you so much for <laughs> being here. And thank you for Wow Wednesday. And thank you, Mary Jane, again, for your wonderful gift. $27. People, do not sit and put it off another day. Do it now. Right. Yep, do it now. Beautiful. So go to bit.ly forward slash class MJ, C-L-A-S-S. MJ. Grab it now. You could do the class either today or on Uh, I'm sorry, tomorrow or September 22nd. Do it. Get the book. It'll come with it. Work on it. Um, Really good stuff. All right. Question for you. Um, Betsy Miller on Facebook asks, can we have a second lieutenant? You can have as many as Sure. There are no rules Mm -hmm. here. The the lieutenant came to me as I was creating the workbook. And I was kind of, you know, you go deja vu all over again. And I thought, my son, it all, that's what he was. He was my first lieutenant. Each day I had six brand new errands and he would just get in the car and that was his morning. And Mm -hmm. it was just fortuitous. And so, you know, he teased salute me and go and that's where the lieutenant came <laughs> that's out. how it came out <laughs> yeah 
so in the process ready and able and yeah very good very good all right um let's go ahead if you have any questions or comments um for mj go ahead and hit star six on your phone or on mute yourself raise your hand um we're here for you uh rose your line is open um, hey. <laughs> hey, good morning. Hey, Rose. Um, hi. Um, maybe I, okay, I'm going to hold it together. Okay. Don't um, worry. That's feel okay. the love. Feel us loving you, Rose. So I, for some reason, decided that I better jump in on, I didn't even look to see what the topic was. Mm -hmm. And my father is in the process of dying right now and so um i'm realizing <laughs> i was thinking yesterday oh my gosh i didn't get that thing that paper changed and i i don't have anything in place and my uh, <laughs> my will still has my ex-husband as my beneficiary which is really bad and so um, I thought, okay, what do I need to do? And why do I need to be on this call? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know. I, I've only been on like two minutes. So I don't even know what you said, but I know why that I need to, whatever it is, get on this, whatever you're going to talk about okay. on your class. Let's do this. <laughs> but if I could get a replay of this too, I don't remember mm -hmm. how to do that. So I would love that. Yeah. Also, Rose, um, I think Nancy has my Calendly uh, phone link. I don't know. Uh, call me directly, and I'll. Why don't you it. just give out give out your phone number? Okay, five zero three three one seven eight eight five four. Okay. And you and I can talk after this, and I can overnight. I'm looking at the book right now. And also, I can send you the uh, the book link, so you'll have the digital copy. But let me send you the hard copy as well, okay? Oh, uh, what whatever it is. <laughs> Again, uh, I don't even know what it is. I just oh, know it's a book. It on less than a minute, so it's a god thing. It's it was a, a god yeah, thing. It is yeah. absolutely. Give me a call, and we'll get it all get it going. Okay, thank you, ladies, and um. <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. All right, love you, Rose. Yeah. We love, love you. you guys too. <clears throat> love you guys too. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. <clears throat> so good. Um, <clears throat> and um, for the replays, the easiest way to see the replays is to go to the Facebook group for Women's Prosperity Network and go under Guides. All of the Wow Wednesday replays are there. That's the easiest way to do it. So just go to Facebook group, Women's Prosperity Network. And then you'll see, um, and that's the big group that has like 13,000 in it. And under guides are all the Wow Wednesday replays. <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead, open up for our next caller, Tracy Oriami. Good morning, Nancy Good morning. and MJ. Wow, I'm so glad that I was able to pop in this morning. MJ, this information is so incredibly valuable. You know, it's something that nobody wants to talk about, but we have to talk about it. My husband just lost his sister mm. to pancreatic cancer. Uh -huh. And in his culture, they don't like talking about pre-planning for such things. But it's so necessary and it's so important. So I just want to say thank you for what you're doing. I'm definitely going to register for your class. And this is something that everybody needs, but nobody wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. So thank well, you so know, much for sharing. You're very yeah. welcome. It is. Yeah. It's hard to believe in 2022 that we still have things people don't talk about, you know. And it's like when our parents had to give us the... Uh, birds and bees conversation i never heard of it i had to learn that on the street but um and here we are this much later and we still have the same gut feeling oh god i can't talk about that yeah you can right right and because you know it, it happened so suddenly they ended up having to spend 
$19,000 on a funeral because they had to hurry up and, you know, find oh. a funeral home. Yeah. And I covered good. that too. Yeah. yeah. You can buy a casket at Costco for a song compared to what the funeral homes sell it for. And you have to check with your state, but that has to be honored by the funeral home. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, you end up overpaying when you don't plan ahead. So oh, thank you so much. It's like a piano. You only need one, you know, so it's a lot of money. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tra Tracy, thank you for being here and for all that you do to support people and uh, sending love to your family as well. Um, we need to be prepared, right? Very good. Um, all right, let's go to our next caller, uh, Olivia Jones. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Mary Jane. I hey, just wanted, Olivia. how are you all doing this morning? So if this is a hard, uh, difficult topic to uh, discuss and what is, and you don't know until you don't know until you do know, and unless you actually like go through the experience. And my question is, for you, uh, Mary Jane, is you mentioned about the lieutenant, um, first lieutenant, and then you also have the PR representative. Are you suggesting having two separate people or the, the first lieutenant and then the Good PR question. rep? Good question. It depends on the talents of your first lieutenant. I have found just in my own little life, not everybody has the same aptitude for social media. Oh. Or they've learned it because they've had to, but to ask somebody to go work on it for somebody else, they have to love it. And so not to overburden any one person. I mean, the executor is working with the attorney. If they're not the same, they can be the same. First lieutenant is your choice uh, unless you're, you know, it's all relative to your own situation. There are no hard rules. But okay. if somebody's going to be the social media administrator, if you have a, you know, a techie friend who wants to help in some way, that's your call. They'd be delighted to do that, perhaps, for you. You know, it's the mm -hmm. same. So there might be the, the possibility, especially these days and times, is the need for that, that person that can go on and close out all the social media Correct. accounts and, stuff and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it might take them a half hour. Yeah. Where, mm -hmm. If you asked me to do it, it would be a few weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Well, and, you know, Olivia, I like that you asked that question because it brings up another, you know, point of if somebody is your personal representative or your executor of your estate, they're going to have a certain, you know, set of responsibilities, which may be different than some of the things that you might want to have a first lieutenant. So you can kind of spread it out so it doesn't become too overwhelming for any one person. Right. right. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And and it's good, you know, like you said, you don't know until you don't know until you know. <laughs> and actually, once you right. go through it, it's like, oh, OK, I know. And then you could then reach back and help others, because I have um, buried both of my parents and both of them. Both of those experiences have been uh, just life lessons. And you're able to the, the part of the healing process is being able to help others. When Absolutely. they're going through. Absolutely. Because you never heal from heal from your parents. That just never goes away. But oh no. My parents died 30 and 40 years ago and it's still right there. Right, right. But there are those people they don't know how to help and they want to help. And yes. they'll drive you crazy because they don't have a job. <laughs> so Amen. Amen. <laughs> just employ them. Just stay here. You know, it's like here. Delegate. This is this is what you can do for me. That's I right. I love it. <laughs> well, that thank you so, so much, Mary Jane. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for sharing. And it's good again, enlightening and having that. We need this knowledge. Yes. Yeah. To, um, to be able to pass along. So yeah, thank so you. So good. Great. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Um, thank you, Olivia. And great question. And we're moving forward. We uh, should have time for one more question. Uh, in, the, uh, in the meantime, before we I bring on our next caller, be sure to go to bit.ly forward slash class MJ 
get yourself registered for the class. You'll get the workbook that goes with it. You want to print it out. Let's get this done. And uh, facing that thing we don't want to talk about, once you face it, you always feel better on the other side. So let's just do it. Right? Let's just do it. Um, open up for next uh, next caller, which I believe might be Darlene, Pastor Darlene, 919-274. Yes, ma'am. There we go. MJ. <laughs> MJ, this was so good and so uh, such a reminder. Um, back in 2019, in November, my husband had suffered a stroke and yeah. was in the hospital and was not able to say anything, do anything for a month. And I was so grateful that just and and I, I really believe it was it was providence and God that made this possible. He we sat down at the table and he showed me where all of the information was because he had done some investing and done some things and he had put it in his phone and he says, Right here in notes is all the passwords, all the information that you need. And that was wow. Because when it came time and I had to answer questions, I had to do things, I knew that he had prepared me unknowingly mm -hmm. that it was going to, I was going to need that information and it was readily available. But how many times do we allow things to slip by and we say, oh yeah, I'll get to it later or I'll get around to it. And that's not, that may not ever happen. So such a great reminder, and I'm going to be um, registering for the, the the class on 22nd. I want to be in that class just to, to prepare our yeah. children because thing can happen to us, and we have to be prepared so they know what to do. That so this is such a, a very it's it's a it's a somber and sobering conversation that I remember what the lawyers had with us when we were having to put together our will. This is mm -hmm. that kind of conversation. So thank you, MJ, for everything that you do. And your yes every day helps somebody else to be able to go through um, and avoid some of the things that you encountered. But it was, it was, in a sense, very necessary for us to be able to benefit from your wisdom. Mm -hmm. Thank you, MJ. Well, thank you very much. And and that was that's my mission. That all the, all that stuff, not the death, not the funeral, uh, but the stuff afterward could have been avoided. Ninety eight percent of it, and that was my fit in my dining room one day. And I thought, I'm, I'm this is going in a book. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, Amen. Speaking of passwords, the book has a whole area for passwords. What has occurred to me in the last month, because I got a new phone, and the young man at the phone is like, okay, and this is how you do your, your facial re uh, recognition. I'm like, holy cow, that is debatable. Nobody else has your face. Right. So I don't know if uh, facial recognition is the way to go. So that would be... Um, we have some techies among us in Women's Prosperity Network. Um, we should pursue that because yeah, that would be stuck. Yeah, you'd be stuck. And then to that end, make sure that somebody knows your password to your phone because you have to Absolutely. be able to unlock your That's phone. It. And, it, you know, if you don't. So I don't use the facial recognition piece. So I guess that's a good thing. And um, I change my passwords all the time. Me too. Because <laughs> I can't remember the first one. Yeah, no, I, do. I know. I don't remember. Let me just change it. <laughs> right. I'll just awesome. create a new one. Yeah. All right. Well, Mary Jane, obviously, this was a highly valuable conversation. The classes that you have coming up, all the work that you do to make it easier for us and our loved ones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yay. So good. Um, get your ticket to the, the workshop. You'll get the workbook so that you can do this for yourself and for your family. Go to bit.ly forward slash class MJ. Get registered. 
Uh, and then reach out to MJ as well. She is here to support you. She'll set up a consultation, whatever you need. And um, this, wow, this is important stuff. So thank you, MJ, for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yep, my pleasure to have you here. Thank you for everyone for joining us. And if you're still listening in, and for some reason you're not a member yet of Women's Prosperity Network, hello, grab that lifetime special that ends on Monday. Go to womensprosperitynetwork.com forward slash lifetime. And we'll see you on the other side. See you next week, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Bye, Bye MJ. Everyone. Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome.